I'm sure nabanggit mo na rin nga yung support of Malacanang and the president. Uh, what was it like working for President Marcos? How is he as a boss? To tell you the truth, ma'am, um, Ms. Bea, uh, it's, it's easy. Uh, mm-hmm. Honestly, pag humingi kami ng funding, for example, disaster, like what happened uh, yung first earthquake sa Abra, I remember that, kaupo pa lang namin, July, there was an earthquake. Uh, so, pinadala namin lahat ng pondo namin doon sa earthquake victims para pa repair ng mga houses and then food, etc. And then came yung suddenly yung uh, may meron tayong tropical storm or depression was that. Nagkaroon ng flooding in that area again in the Ilocos region in uh, Cordillera. So medyo low na yung funds depleted. So I went to, mm-hmm. to the president and I said like, sir, we need some funding re- to replenish. All he told me was like, uh, talk to uh, Secretary Pangandaman. And, uh, and that's it. So I texted Secretary Pangandaman and I said, uh, I told uh, Secretary Pangandaman that the president gave instructions to ask uh, funding from you, yung uh, emergency uh, cash natin. So uh, the DBM said, how much do you need? You binigay naman kagad. It only took about uh, 48 to uh, 72 hours and uh, yung pondo na download kagad sa amin. So we were able to respond and we always respond because may pondo lagi, Ms. Bea, and yun yung instructions ni President Marcos na Kung kailangan mo ng pondo, humingi ka lang para maibigay natin, maibaba natin. And that's what I told him. So, kailangan ko talaga ng pondo para mabilis tayo. We can respond right away. And and, and uh, kumahit naman siya. So, parang you, the impression that you're painting is basically decisions are made very rather quickly in the cabinet. E- exactly, ma'am. I mean, each, I, I don't know sa other administrations, pero lahat kami, lahat ng cabinet members, I think uh, during the first week of the president, binigyan niya kami ng direct line niya, yung kanyang cell phone. He said, like, if there's any problem, if you need my assistance, you need to talk to me, you can call me here. So lahat kami, lahat ng cabinet secretaries, binigyan niya ng mga numbers niya para you can call this. He said, like, you can call me anytime. Yeah. Is he a micromanager? Referring to the president, of course. Or does he just let you decide the way that you think things should be done? There are instances na he, he goes uh, micromanage, like uh, distribution okay. of relief uh, packs, uh, he would call me. Or, uh, balita ko, hindi pa nabibigyan daw ito, uh, yung doon sa Bicol or some, somewhere in Mindanao. Sabi ko, sir, nabigyan na, well, eh, kausapin mo ito si Mayor ganito kasi dumiretso sa akin and uh, he's asking for assistance. Yeah. I said, yes, sir. Yeah, pero... Most of the time, he would just let us do what we have to do, and we just we just have to report it to him uh, every cabinet meeting, uh, Miss Bea. Mm-hmm. 